Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be making a bit of a different type of video, mostly because I haven't made a video focusing on brats since, like, well, technically the other week since I covered some brats fakes then, but today, we are going to be going over all the new brats I've gotten recently. And if you're wondering what happened here, I broke a nail. Really bad. Like, you know how the nail goes, like, from here to here, and then, like, from here is just, like, extra stuff? Yeah, it broke where the extra stuff was not. So I'm just... Yeah, it's... It's, it's pretty bad, my guy. Also, y'all pointed out that I put her stand on upside down, but I do that with all the stands, so I don't know what the problem is. But also, she's missing a heart, and I can even see the outline where it's supposed to be. Like, there's supposed to be a third red heart on her pants over here, and it's just straight up not there. That is the weirdest shit. So, anyway, let's get into the haul, because I've gotten a lot of toys lately. Mostly Bratz dolls, which is why this is mostly a Bratz haul. But of course, I got Monster High too, so it goes in the title. It works. If I'm going chronologically, technically my Rock Angels Roxy is my most, like, my least recent Bratz doll that I've gotten. I got her on Mercari. I just wasn't having a good day, so I was like, you know what, let's buy Roxy. And it was a good purchase, because since then, Roxy has become my favorite character. Even though this doll has the worst Roxy screening, I believe Bratz fans call it, yet. It's pretty bad. This is pretty bad. But I had to get her, because you guys know Rock Angels is my favorite Bratz line because of the nostalgia that Chloe held for me. So I figured I should try to complete it, and now I'm just missing Sasha. She's really expensive, but I'm working on finding her. Real quick, thank you guys so much for recommending the switching of the stand, because it is actually a lot sturdier now. I always put these things in upside down, and I've never had that problem before. So, yeah. But I actually didn't know I was putting it in upside down before. But anyway, thank you guys. And I'm sorry if anybody, like, thought I was ignoring them. I promise, I just got a lot of DMs about it. Where are your shoes? Oh my god, I was sitting on them. They were under my legs. But back on topic. My next two Bratz dolls were bought in a lot together. Because they're twins. Okay, so I managed to get Phoebe to stand, but Roxy is not doing it. But here is my twins, Roxy. Roxy has recently become my all-time favorite Bratz character, and I adore her twins doll so much. I found this lot where she was, like, pretty much complete. Had I had to give her a bit of a touch-up on her nails. A little messy. I forgot to clean them up afterwards. But the chip paint was chipping, so I think I did a good job. She came with her sunglasses. She does not have any earrings, but she did have a necklace the bracelet, and I had to repaint the shoes too. <laughs> but that's kind of the way it is with a lot of old brats. As for Phoebe, she has one of her earrings, her necklace. Her lips are a little smudged, but I think I could color match them. She also has her sunglasses, which are also in need of a bit of touching up, and everything else that you see here. I love Phoebe a lot too. Like, she is so cute. I love the pinks. These are all the other things that they came with. I also got their card. Um, it looks like Roxy's makeup, their good girl and Lil Devil shirts. I thought it said bad girl, but it says Lil Devil. And we got their purses. And overall, I think they were a good deal. I mean, I did pay like close to 50 bucks for them both, but you know what? Brats are old. I also did have the option between two different Roxy's because the first one had a chip on her lip, but I chose the one without the chip. Her hair also smells like fabric softener because that's what they washed it with before I got her. Just a little fun fact. If we continue with the chronological theme, um, I believe that the next Bratz dolls that I got following them, which was not long after, I won this bid maybe a day or so after, was a Genie Magic lot. I actually got Megan from it. And there's two other ones. I'm just showing you Megan first, because I actually had Megan as a kid. I remember owning her, because... I don't know. I don't know why I had Megan. It's cool. She has her little head jewel still. She still has her necklace. She seems to be wearing her second outfit. But it's also possible that this is not... That this is like the Megan that came in that playset where she was only wearing her second outfit. She has all her tattoos. 
and yeah, she's in pretty good shape. Her hair is a little rough. I tried to brush it, but I gave up. So I promise I will wash her hair if you guys have any recommendations for how I can go about that. I am open to them. Oh, look at that, she stands up. And I may as well show you all the extras real quick though. Yeah, because there was like a lot of extras in this lot. Like there was this pillow which came from Burger King, I believe. And the picture in here, you can actually change it out, but I only have the one, so yeah, pretty nice. I never went to Burger King as a kid for food. I also got these three bags, which are also from Burger King. They don't seem to have much inside them. Like this one feels like there's like a paper inside. It's just the tag. It's just that big tag that says Bratz on it. Um, I also got this pair of gray boots, which I actually recognize these. I just don't know which doll they're from. So if you guys know, please tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, and we also got Sasha's second outfit because I got Sasha. <laughs> I finally got my first Sasha, Genie Magic Sasha. I actually didn't know that this Sasha existed for a long time because she was never in my area when I was a kid. I never knew about her. My mom didn't even know about her. She doesn't have her earrings, but she does have her jewel. She's also missing a flower, I believe. And I had to redo the ponytail up here because it was so old that it just broke. And overall, she's in really good shape. I'm very glad that she came with her second outfit because it's really cute. Sasha definitely has the most unique like outfit from Genie Magic. And that's why I'm very glad that I was able to get her. Her hair is also a bit messy. I'm not the best at taking care of Brat's hair. Um, I would have saved Sasha for last, but Yasmin's a bit of a disappointment, so... Let's just, um... Yeah, they gave me, like, Chloe feet or something, because that is not Yasmin's skin tone. <laughs> That's always been the difficult thing about Bratz. You have to have the right skin tone or else the doll looks weird. <laughs> looks like she's got that one skin condition. It starts with a V. I just don't know how to pronounce it, but like only in her feet. Um, she's also wearing Chloe's skirt, I believe. So Yasmin is a bit of a disappointment, but her hair is really nice. It's puffy, yes, but overall the hair seems to be kept in pretty good shape. Um... So yeah, I'm on the hunt for some replacement Yasmin accessories, such as her feet and her skirt. But otherwise, I'm very glad to have her. It's nice to have three Genie Magic dolls again, because Genie Magic was my second favorite line. I used to have Katya and her lamp, and I bought Katya again recently, but, you know, kind of got rid of the lamp. Very sad about that. I miss it. I miss it a lot. I'm sure you guys are wondering, where's the Rainbow High part of this video? There you go. <laughs> yes, I held this doll in my lap so I could do that kind of reveal. Her box wasn't this dented when we were in the store. We just, my whole family just kind of kept dropping her everywhere and she got dented up as a result. But I finally got a good Violet. The last one I found at the store had like three million stains on her face and this one has none. So you can expect a review on her soon, cause it's gonna happen, I promise. As I set up for the thumbnail, I would like to show you this other doll that I got in the box. It is a birthday ball, cedar wood. Her box does have some water damage to it, which is why it was like 30 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a new in box doll, I would say. But the water damage does make it a little cheap and bad looking. So at the same time, I kind of want to unbox her because this just looks horrible, but I don't think I will. Yep, still smells like oranges. Since we're going in terms of relevancy, the next item that I unboxed yesterday was the Werecats scooter. But not just them. I also got the Wheel and Werecats. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually do love Meowity and Persephone. So I've been trying to get this pack for a while, and funny story actually, it went on sale, so I decided to buy it, you know, like on Mercari. And then the seller messages me saying, hey, my son might have COVID, we got a test for him, and I was like, oh, 
oh shit, okay. And then like three days later, they're like, hey, it came back negative. I'm gonna send you your dolls. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. It was a wild ride. Like, I just immediately buy the item, and right after, they're like, hey, my son might have COVID, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, finally was able to get them, and I'm very happy. They're in pretty good shape, other than the streaks being, like, totally wrecked, but I think that's to be expected since they're wearing helmets. I could always try to repair them, but meh, they're probably just gonna wear the helmets all the time anyway. So if you don't know who's who, Persephone, Meality. There we go. Hmm, nope, this looks bad. But anyway, the lot, the haul, is not over. Because there are many other items that I still haven't shown. Such as... Kung Fu Roxy. No way, that's not Kung Fu, it's karate. God damn it. I watched Kung Fu Panda again recently, so Kung Fu's been on the mind. Also, on another note, that movie is unironically great. If you're ever feeling down, just go watch Kung Fu Panda. Or maybe don't. There's a lot of fat jokes. And if those make you sad, not a good idea. But anyway. Roxy. <laughs> Roxy. I actually do have her bag, it's just been out of shape, so I'm trying to fix it with my pair of scissors. But here is the doll herself, and one of her eyes looks a little blurry. Um, this one's fine, but this one looks kind of blurry. Why does the camera keep going blurry? Oh, there we go. She has piercing holes, but she doesn't actually come with earrings, I don't believe. Her hair is still in its factory style, so the braids are in really nice shape. And I really love her outfit. As you guys know, I watch anime, so I am a bit of a fan, like a nerd for Japanese culture. So seeing her in this karate outfit is pretty cool. Is karate Chinese? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I mix that up. But point is, I really like this style. Kind of looks like some kind of traditional robe that she's wearing. She has a black belt. So, overall, big fan. Hey, she stood on her own. The final item that I've gotten recently is another Ever After I doll. And it was actually one of my viewers who sold me this doll. I've been trying to complete Spring Unsprung alongside my girlfriend for a while, and finally, we have a briar. This briar is in excellent condition. She still has both of her earrings, and this thing is still being held on with factory ties, which I appreciate very much because these big clunky headbands are hard to keep on otherwise. Her purse is also being held on with rubber bands, and she has her bracelet slash ring. So overall, very nice, very nice. Took a bit, and two monster high stands. But we got the perfect thumbnail. Look at all my brats. It doesn't look like much, but it's well over a hundred dollars between these six. <laughs> yeah, 67 on the three genie magic girls, and 20 on kick and karate, and then those two, I don't even know, that was like 48 bucks. Yes, it's a lot of money. But that's the reason I'm so thankful for you all because with every single viewer that I gain, I am able to afford even more dolls to make content for this channel. I would like to make separate reviews for all of these Bratz dolls, except for these two. These two would probably be together. And I'd probably pair the three Genie Magic Girls, so the only one who would get their own review is Roxy. She's so special, she's my favorite. But yeah, I see no reason that I can't review secondhand stuff, so I might even go for the Werecats while I'm at it. But, yeah, as always, as always, what was I gonna say? As always, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'm sorry about that goof. I'm just so exhausted today. School was a time. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!